Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more VGC. Uh, today we are trying out a really cool uh, Spirit Tomb Dialga team uh, that I found on the channel Jeans. I've uh, featured a team from his channel before, but I'll make sure to relink his uh, YouTube uh, as well as the rental code and uh, everything else there in the description. But uh, yeah, so the Spirit Tomb is a very support Spirit Tomb with Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, Burning Jealousy and Sucker Punch and the Rosella Berry for Fairy type moves. Uh, and then you've got uh, a Gyarados, which we haven't actually featured before, but it was very, very prominent very early in the metagame for Sword and Shield, but uh, fell away very quickly because of Regieleki specifically. But uh, it's an Intimidate user. This one is AV, which is pretty cool. I've only ever really used the Dragon Dance variant, but very cool Pokemon. And we have Double Intimidate with Landorus. Uh, it is Choice Scarf uh, with Earth Power as well as Earthquake, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but paired with a Dialga, which has Telepathy, so it won't be hit by our own Earthquakes, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's special with Flash Cannon and Draco, uh, and then Trick Room and Protect. Uh, and we've got another Rocky Helmet Amoogus, but I like this one more because it has a Poison type move in Clear Smog. Uh, and then we also just have your pretty standard Focus Sash Reggie Alecky. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to borrow this team, and we'll cut to the first match. Alright, that took a little while to find an opponent, but that's okay. Uh, let's see what our first opponent's got for us. I, I see a Hydreigon, I see a Mamoswine. Uh, Mamoswine is very good against us. Actually, <laughs> how is every team I use like just lose to a Mamoswine? Jesus Christ. Uh, it's like Gyarados and Spirit Tomb that are like the best matchup for it, and that's if the Mamoswine doesn't have Freeze Dry, which I don't even know if it gets, but uh, most of them are physical anyway, so. But uh, okay. So they do have a Zacian. Uh, Dialga matches up pretty well into that, unless they have Sacred Sword or Close Combat, which they probably do. But we do have Double Intimidate, uh, which is pretty good for the remainder of their team. Uh, Hydreigon doesn't do too much into us. It's just this Mamoswine that's a real, real problem. Uh, how do I think they're going to lead this? They could lead... I can't imagine they lead Zacian. They might say lead Incineroar and Mamo. I feel like that's their best lead option. Uh, it's not a memo. Okay, I like Spirit Tomb lead. And Gyarados. We bring the Dialga in the back. And I think Landorus. This gives us no option for Feeny though. I'm thinking about a Lecky. Yeah. I like Aoife Feeny and it's faster naturally than Zacian. Uh One, I guess, glaring weakness of this team is we don't actually have speed control. Uh, outside of Electro Web from uh, Aleki, there's no, like, say, Tailwind. Uh, I guess we do have Trick Room on Dialga, which could be okay here, but their team's very middling in speeds too, plus a Rillaboom with, like, Grassy Glide and what have you. Okay, so it is Zacian Mamo. Uh, I, again, wasn't expecting to lead the Zacian. Well, I, I mean, I'll take it. We had Intimidate off onto the Zacian. Uh, but I mean, obviously, Mamoswine shouldn't get it because of Oblivious, I believe. Unless they have the wrong nature. Yeah. Oh, not nature. Sorry, wrong ability. Uh, okay. During the turn. I wonder if that works on Zacian because of its stab boost. I don't know how that works or whether this counts as a turn. Uh, either way, I actually really want to try and will o this Mamoswine. But I feel like Feeny comes in for the Zacian. Ah, uh, man. Let's try this. Top of Feeny. Okay. Uh, so Feeny did come in. I just got the wrong Pokemon. I guess it's kind of obvious that uh, Spirit Room probably has uh, Willow. Okay, pop in the Roselli Berry. Uh, okay. I mean, obviously, we land the Power Whip, that's good. That's really good damage into that Tapu Fini. Willow List obviously does nothing. The lefties on the Fini, so you probably protect this turn, I would imagine. Uh that's very depressing, actually. Play Rough just does so much damage into everything. I think we just let the Spirit Tomb go down this turn.
If I think Feeny protects, I didn't bring Landorus. I forgot. I forgot I didn't bring Landorus. Ah, uh, Landorus would have been so good. Uh, that's okay. Waterfall is going to do absolutely nothing, but... Well, maybe I'm underestimating. Uh, shouldn't be Mammoth Swine. Yeah, it's a dragon. In the spirit tomb. I mean, I'll take it. Like, my opponent's just spent two turns trying to deal with the spirit tomb. Which makes sense because it's a Will O' Wisp user, but. And we at least get the read right, kind of, in Feeny, in the fact that it switched. It didn't actually uh, protect, but either way. Um. Dioga could be okay. I kind of like a Leki here. I feel like Mamoswine... Well... I guess the question becomes, if you're my opponent and you're switching in Mamoswine, where are you switching it? Because I've just waterfalled your Zashin. How am I dealing with this Hydro on there? Is the other problem. And I don't know if Volt Switch into Waterfall is enough to kill Zashin. They can also protect here. Damn. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have Volt Switched on Hydro I, I got very greedy. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. So that that's that's fine. I'm okay with that turn. Uh, Volt Switch I drag on this time. Did you really go Mamo though? It's like you either go Mamo and take a Waterfall, or you go Feeny and take an Electro Web, and your Feeny cannot take the Electro Web. So we double this slot again, I think. The worst case scenario, uh, you go into Mammoth Swine, which it is, uh, and they take a Waterfall. Uh, we could flinch, actually. That's the worst case scenario. <laughs> we could flinch with the Gyarados. Okay, we don't flinch, thankfully. That's really good damage. Uh, Volt Switch here, and just Waterfall again. It's okay, damage. I thought about Electro Webbing, because they were pretty much ignoring the Aleki. Uh, Gyarados is just like, getting whittled down, uh, which is a bit annoying. Well, it's not a bit annoying, it's very annoying. Okay. We haven't flinched yet, but... Lord knows that's going to happen eventually. Uh, I like. F I like trick rooming. The question is whether Mamo is faster. Do I power whip here actually instead? And do I risk the power whip? Because you could go Feeny. Hmm. Okay, they went Feeny. Now we just have to not get flinched by Dark Pulse and land the Power Whip. Not that Feeny was the biggest threat. <sighs> Dude. Damn it! Ah, I had all the reads, dude. I had all the reads. Ow. As I said, eventually it was going to happen. Uh, let's just Draco and whip. You probably switch me back out again, or you protect, yeah. 
All right, land the Draco. Okay. Dude, that brief pause is just like, it makes my heart hurt. All right, that's fine. Uh, see, that's... It is a little bit frustrating because obviously we would have knocked out the Feeny as well, which meant uh, in that Feeny slot there would have been a Zashin or a... Uh, Mammoth Swine. There's Zashin. They get an attack boost. Uh, which is upsetting. Gotta hope to land the power whip and hope it kills. Uh, I gotta switch to reset my special attack. Uh, before Gyarados goes down, potentially this turn. That Feeny is faster. Under Trick Room. That makes sense. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Mm. For some reason I really think about that. It's also the fact that that Feeny at literally at no point had attacked up until that point. So I just didn't even consider her a threat in my mind. When obviously I should have, but that's fine. Okay. Now we play the does Flash Cannon KO a Zashin, and I really doubt it. You can also protect Zash in this turn. Eh. That's unfortunate. Okay, they protect Feeny. Don't protect, sure. Makes sense, see which one I'm targeting, I guess. But I mean, Zashin is the threat here. Uh, for the most part, what is Adam and Orb? It's just dragon type moves, right? I think. Uh, oh no, dragon and steel. Okay. I mean, this is obviously neutral. It's not special. Okay, switching to Mammoth Swine. I part of me thought that might happen, but I mean, the Mammoth Swine is also a threat, so. I'm okay with that, but they're also stalling out turns of Trick Room too, which makes sense. We'll see how much Dazzle does and then we'll forfeit. Yeah, yeah so now we died a Sacred Sword. Uh, okay, so I think Spirit Tomb was definitely not nearly as useful as I thought it might be. I definitely think in its place having Landorus uh, would have been a lot better for us, but yeah, you know, I really mostly just wanted to use Spirit Tomb. Uh, you can't blame me for that, right? Uh, but hey, here's what it is. Uh, we'll just pause till we get out there battle. Uh, second battle, sorry. Alright, I had to look twice, uh, oh, sorry, three times for an opponent. So hopefully this is a good game. Uh, we have a Cinderace, which is pretty cool. Haven't seen that for a while. Uh, okay. It's Pelipa, as a Moltres, pretty much a Leki here is very, very good. They don't have, uh, what am I trying to say? They don't have terrain that stops Spore or Will-O-Wisp. Uh, Will-O-Wisp could be very good, but I just think Amoongus here is a pretty darn decent, I guess, except for Cinder and Moltres. Hmm. <laughs> How do I want to play this? Double Intimidate seems very, very good. Uh, I don't really have a way to deal with Rillaboom though, outside of Double Intimidate. My opponent doesn't have Intimidate, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, they do have Fake Out. I like Aleki Gyarados. Uh, Landorus. Dialga. And we're going to bring a this time. I think Spirit Room could be good. Uh, I just think a Moongus offers us better 
just better all round support. And like a good switch in for a Lecky if they laid uh, Rillaboom. So we'll see. Okay, hey, Moltres plus Indeedy. I mean, Expanding Force is gonna hurt. They should know I'm. S oh, actually, no, they're probably min speed. Do they have a ground type? Uh, the Psychic Seed, okay, good to know. Uh, let's see, they don't have a ground type. In fact, they don't really have a resistance to electric at all outside of Rilla. Hmm. Gonna Volt Switch and Earthquake. I'm very sure Landra should underspeed Alecky, but we will check. Uh, 149, 75, 220, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, why would I Earthquake? Now, I could Electro Web, but I didn't see too, too much of a point in it. Particularly since they're literally just going to let me do that. If we land the Rock Slide, we're in a really good spot. Son of a gun. I was not expecting... Very dude. Well, at least it doesn't put them back into Berserk range, I guess. Man, we're gonna eat an expanding force and I'm gonna hate every second of it. That was unfortunate. <sighs> Life's unfair. Life is very unfair. Remember when I uh, could have hit a rock slide onto that Moltres? Yeah. Yep. Ow. Oh. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I feel like you have to follow me this turn, right? Sure, man. Maybe they don't have it. Ah, surely you do. That does absolutely nothing to that thing. Holy crap. Uh, I mean, at least we're Sash and Alecky, but we've just, like, taken so much damage. Now we get crit. Uh, actually, flash cutting there was dumb because yeah, we just lose. Ah, uh... damn it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we lose because of the rock slide miss. Uh, it's seriously unfortunate. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh. Unless this- we have to crit the flash cannon, I think. That seems about right. <laughs> that right there seems about right. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, sometimes it's just not your day. Can't imagine why I'm starting to get a bit burnt out on Pokemon, you know? Cannot imagine. Oh well. Uh, I mean it is what it is. It's the, uh, the life and times of using Rock Slide. I just love the fact that I waited 20 minutes for this game. Oh well. Uh, let's just pause so we get out the battle, I guess. I'll be back.
All right, we at least found another opponent pretty much straight away. Uh, it's a pretty cool team, actually, with uh, Solgaleo, which has four metal jacket, so we can't actually lower its stats. Uh, which makes Gyarados a bit of a weird... Well, they have a Zapdos too, so it makes Gyarados pretty rough to bring. Uh, I do like Spiritomb though, except they have a Tapu Fini again. Uh, we don't have a way to reset terrain. They have an Urshabu by Dialgor. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lead Dialgo because it matches up pretty well against everything except Landorus and uh, Landorus and Tapu Fini. Uh, sorry, Urshifu. Bring the Spiritomb. Bring Landorus in the back. And a Lecky? I think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like Delga is a very good Pokemon. It's just awkward because of its speed stat. Uh, and, you know. It's just. It's a very middling Pokemon in the, I guess, Uber bracket. It is Zapdos Landorus. Hmm. Zapdos isn't doing a huge amount here outside of heat waves. Landorus is the big problem. In fact, I'm pretty happy just to swap into my Landorus and Snarl. I think it's a pretty obvious switch, but we'll see. They could double target the Spirit Tomb too. It, it's definitely just not a matchup where you're like, Daiwa's definitely going to stay in here. Unless they think I'm going to set up Trick Room. Okay. There's a Heat Wave. Uh, do I get burnt? Spirit Tomb gets burnt. Okay, that's fine. You like the Snarls too, which is very important. Uh, so Spiritomb getting burnt kind of sucks, but obviously better than Landorus getting burnt. Uh, now let's see, they would have definitely brought Solgaleo in the back, uh, and... Did you bring the Feeny? Maybe you didn't bring Feeny. We're gonna attempt to Rock Slide again, and I'm happy to snarl... Oh, okay, if you're... Let's try to think. This may seem like a weird play, but I feel like if Solgaleo is going to come in, it'll be on this slot. Because if your weakness policy on the Solgaleo, you bring it in now so you get snarled. That's the Feeny, damn it! I saw the switch and I was like, hell yeah dude, look at me getting reads. This is the second time I've tried to freaking Will-O-Wisp with Tapu Feeny. Ah. Uh. That's, that's just depressing. Hey, the flinchler. I'll take it. Leftovers Feeny as a as a shocker. So he switched in Feeny on a potential uh, snarl, I guess. Which is interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna rock side again. I don't. But now you can just bring in Solgaleo, and that's just like a hundred percent free. Tauga does nothing against Solgaleo too. Ah, this is such a weird turn. What would you do if you're the Landorus? Switch? The problem is I can just see a... Uh, I can see a, a switch out. But I can also see like... A Rock Slide into Dazzling Gleam. You're kidding. You are kidding! Why? Whatever, man. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. 
Yeah, I'm, now I'm the one getting hard red. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. That sucks. Earth power, huh? Okay. Uh, alright. Now we go Landorus again. We know they have Zapdos in the back. We have to be really careful though, because I want to lock myself in Earthquake, but... It's obviously not a good idea. Uh, dude. Maybe I should have brought in actually. I'm just gonna rock slip. It's fine. I was like, if I saw Galio and I nearly clicked Earthquake, I was going to be very angry. Okay. Get the Feeny. Lynch the Feeny. Get a second Snarl off. That's pretty good. Puts Feeny at minus two, puts Zapdos at minus one. Did Rockslide do almost 50% to that Zapdos, or do we hit it with something? I don't remember. I think it's been hit by a snarl before. I yeah, I don't don't quite remember. Uh, we're just gonna rock slide again, and I think go Dialga now. Okay, Spirit Tomb's the only switch. Bring in Dial. We're landing all our rock slides now. Jesus Christ. You're my opponent, you're mad as hell. Uh, rock slide again and flash cannon kind of for free into the Feeny, I guess. Uh, should I have trick roomed? No, it's fine. Apparently in this game, we just don't miss. And we're somehow faster. Okay. No more Misty Terrain as well. So I think I actually do want to trick room if I can. But the problem is now there's a non non special attack drops landorus and it's urshi oh no so galio how many with us <laughs> not gonna lie i was not ready for this okay it's the dark one uh that's pretty bad i can't protect i but you, okay, you would just Wicked Blow the Landorus and Earth Power Dialga, right? The problem is I have to Rock Slide. Like, that is my problem right now. Uh, I flashed down the wrong thing. Dang it. Sucker. We living? We landed? This Earth Power's gonna hurt too. Yo, you are so mad! Come on. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm very much joking. Uh, do you suck a punch? I even thought to. Yeah, if I'd flash down Landorus, we're in just such a good spot. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. We have Sucker Punch on... You just Sucker Punch me. In fact, you just keep clicking Sucker Punch.
We literally just have to hope that we live. Yeah, yeah. That we live in Earth Power, which I don't think we do. Yeah. Oh, well. We flinched them like 20 times and we still couldn't win the game. Uh, I think, yeah, if I'd flash out the right Pokemon, that's my fault. I made one mistake. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's... I mean, I'm just gonna do this. I actually kind of want to see what this interaction looks like. Never mind. I assume they were gonna suck a bunch. The other play there was, instead of flash cannoning, if I had just, uh... Uh, Trick Room too. But yeah, flash cannoning the Oshra instead of the Landorus was a big, big mistake. Uh, okay. Dude, this team is hard. Um, it's very cool. I'm just, it's not the kind of team I'm very good with, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna try and get a fourth game. Uh, so I'll be back. Alright, we have found a fourth opponent. They are using a Reshiram, which is pretty cool. Uh, paired with a Torkoal and Incineroar, so they triple fire core. Uh, along with a Mimikyu for Trick Room. A Reggie Eleki, which makes my Gyarados cry. Hmm. I mean, Amoogus just definitely isn't very good here. Outside of the Rillaboom and Mimikyu, I guess, would agree. But they don't have terrain. Spirit Tomb's also not great because Will O Wisp. Well, maybe Amoongus does have a place. I want to lead Landorus and Dialga. I feel like that's a pretty decent lead. I'll uh, bring Gyarados and we'll actually bring the Aleki. It's definitely a weird feeling though. Yeah, I mean, they have Intimidate and they have double uh, Fake Out too. I like this song. Alright, we're going to try and at least get one win on the board. Although I would definitely not be playing this team again. <laughs> get as much content out of it as we can. Uh, okay, Mimikyu and Sin, that makes sense. Big land door ass. And Dialga. So Intimidate means nothing to Dialga, but obviously affects Landorus. Uh, okay, let's see. I guess the question is, do you Parting Shot or Fake Out? I'm pretty sure you just Fake Out. The problem is I don't know which one you're Faking Out. Okay, Landers. Landers makes sense. Uh, that's what I, what I meant by that is I could have gone into a Moongus, but I didn't want to pick the wrong Pokemon to go into a Moongus with. But like right now, if they're just going to Trick Room, I'm totally fine with that. And we break Mims Disguise. Yeah, that's completely fine. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to go into a Moongus. Although, surely you can't risk an Earthquake. Unless you think I'm not going to go for it. I guess you'd Parting Shot the Landorus. Maybe I should U-Turn instead. Uh, actually, let's just Earthquake and Trick Room. They could also have Taunt on the Mimikyu. Or Incineroar. Fine. It's fine. For a second there I was trying to figure out why uh Dialga hadn't moved yet. That's a crit on the Mimikyu, it has to be. Yeah. Also I just realized that Mimikyu's name has a Q. That's really cool. Uh, like I've never, I, I either I've never seen a Mimikyu with a uh, Japanese name, uh, or I've just never noticed it before. I don't know. I really like it. It's it's 
just a weird little thing. Let's reset that trick room, boy. Uh, and then we just want to click Earthquake again. <laughs> uh, okay, what could they have in the back? Reshi, probably, almost certainly. But like... Are you protecting the... You could protect Mimikyu... Switch Mimikyu out for Incineroar, switch Mimikyu out for... Uh, that's fine. I just think you protect... never mind. I just think you protect Torkoal, but you really don't. Okay, we stopped their Trick Room from going off, which is nice. Obviously don't do a huge amount to the... Look, we probably deserve that at this point. Uh, I mean, that would have been a dead Torkoal. That's a dead Landorus. Not ideal. Definitely, definitely not ideal, actually, considering how good Landorus is. Hmm, that Draco missing is a bit of a... a bit annoying. See and Sin. Okay, well we get Intimidate onto the Incineroar again. We're gonna lose Amoongus this turn. Kind of have to. Switch out. Uh, and I'm just going to protect just in case. So that's two turns of sundown. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I assume this kills Amoongus. No? Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, are we min speed Amoongus is my question. Yes. All right, we Rage Powder. Oh, but it won't be able to switch because of the Resh. Oh, dude, this Torkoal is just doing bad, bad things to me. Yeah. Yeah, missing that Draco, even if we, is annoying. Yeah. Let me obviously the crit on Mimikyu is very good. Yeah. Okay, that's actually okay. Hell, I could have spored. Interesting. Very interesting. Yes, interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So it's it has to be Resh and Insane in the back, right? Like it, it pretty much has to be. Problem is, it's not like Gyarados does a huge amount of damage into Reshiram. And I'm honestly, and this Incineral is just a bad time. Mm, yeah, I, I just can't get past losing Landorus the way we did, but it is what it is. Oh, absolute banger of a beat that drops. I mean, we literally have to make this play. Uh, I don't see any other way around it. I think the Gyarados switch is pretty obvious, particularly for the Dialga because of the Draco switch, uh, the Draco play. But I just think if you're my opponent, you expect me to Rage Powder. So I'm curious as to whether you fake out or whether you uh, just Flare Blitz it. 
And then do you Draco or Blue Flare? And you probably Blue Flare. Or you have Heat Wave. Okay. Yeah. Them's the brakes, unfortunately. Them's the brakes. That burn is exceptionally unfortunate. Yikes. I mean... Yeah. It is what it is. There's been, like... I know I got a lot of RNG in the last game and still somehow lost, like that's on me. Uh, there's just been way too much RNG in this like four matches for my liking. But that's kind of the team we're playing. So I had a feeling they would protect there. I really did. Uh, I hope this still kills. <gasps> Twice in one episode, baby. Just can't get the kill. Just cannot do it. Oh my god. This restaurant has to be faster than my Gyarados. Do I Waterfall and Draco? It breaks Pencil Sash. And it could flinch. I think this is my win con. I mean, I played to my outs. But, uh... Yeah. We got it, Ben. Oh, well. We got on all four with this team. Uh, again, I really like the team. It's really cool. I definitely don't think I piloted it very well at all. Uh, so if you want to try it out for yourself, I will leave the rental code in the description below, as well as a link to uh, Jeans' YouTube channel uh, where I found it. But uh, yeah, that's going to do me off for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.